When you look at uh, the 2030 agenda for sustainable development, at the core of that agenda is the eradication of poverty. We are at a point where if poverty is allowed to go on, we will tilt towards very tragic positions. So this is an opportune time for all of us at a global level to really enhance our efforts at the eradication of poverty. That will be the main focus when the 55th Commission for Social Development convenes from the 1st to the 10th of February at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The uh, Commission for Social Development uh, chose to discuss uh, poverty eradication this year uh, since it is a central uh, goal of the Sustainable Development Goals and in particular uh, because uh, the main aim of ECOSOC is to give a coordinated input into the uh, evaluation and, and follow-up to the 2015 summit and to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. This year's theme on strategies to eradicating uh, poverty will allow an in-depth discussion among main stakeholders, be it uh, authorities or representatives of civil society of, uh, or even private sector. So all stakeholders, stakeholders how to work together in order to eradicate poverty. This year, the Commission will also be focusing on youth and persons with disabilities. For the Commission for Social Development, um, we chose to give a particular emphasis on youth and uh, people with disabilities, two groups who are not usually focused on in other fora, and we hope that uh, this Commission can give an input specifically tailored to these groups, to the work of ECOSOC and the high-level uh, political forum. Three high-level panel discussions will be organized during the Commission, one on the priority theme, one on the emerging issues focusing on youth, and the third one on disability. We also anticipate that three resolutions will be adopted. There will be a resolution on disability and another resolution on uh, youth. And the third resolution will be on the social dimensions of the new partnership for Africa's development. Member states and leaders in the NGO community will work together on strategies for poverty eradication in over 50 side events. The topics of these events will range from social protection programs and access to mental health services to social capital and the role of media in promoting sustainable development for all. Some of the strategies that will be discussed are contained in the Secretary General's report on this issue. And in that report, uh, the Secretary General addressed a number of strategies that have been effective uh, in various parts of the world such as uh, promoting structural transformation, promoting industrialization, uh, investing in agriculture and rural development, investing in human capital, particularly in education and health, uh, scaling up the provision of social protection, uh, as well as uh, making sure that the poor are not marginalized when it comes to public expenditures. أحوج ما يكون إلى أن تم التركيز على الجانب الاجتماعي خاصة بعد اعتماد أجندة التنمية 2030 الجانب الاجتماعي من تحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة له تأثير كبير جدا في حياة المجتمعات سواء على صعيد المجموعات المستضعفة أو على المجتمع الدولي بشكل عام التنمية الاجتماعية لابد أن تحقق أساس لأنها تتعامل مع الحاجات الأساسية للمجتمعات عندما الحاجة الأساسية تتوفر للسكان المجتمعات هو ما يؤجد شعور الطمأنينة في قلوب هذه السكان المجتمعات وبالتالي تصبح شعوب بناءة أكثر معطاء أكثر في سبيل تحقيق التنمية المستدامة التي يرجو لها المجتمع الدولي بشكل عام Es muy importante que los estados eh, sigan orientando y, eh, sus acciones a los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible allí contenidos porque la agenda tiene que cumplirse en su totalidad porque sus objetivos son transformadores, son interdependientes, son integrados y ella tiene que cumplirse en, para todas las personas, en todos los países y en todas las regiones. De otra manera el desarrollo no es sustentable.